and also by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, meanwhile, Indonesia have also opened an Indonesia pavilion at Davos, where Indonesian delegates will host global and business leaders for discussions and also showcase Indonesia's investment potentials. After a two-year hiatus, the World Economic Forum is once again being held this year at Davos, Switzerland, as world and business leaders have come together to discuss the many challenges faced by the global economy. Among those present at the World Economic Forum were, of course, delegates from Indonesia, who opened an Indonesia pavilion, which will host discussions between world and business leaders with Indonesian ministers, CEOs and other Indonesian high-ranking officials. During a press conference, Indonesia's coordinating Minister of Economic Affairs, Erlanga Hartarto, affirmed that now is the golden moment to invest in Indonesia. First and foremost, in Indonesia, COVID-19 cases continue to drop. Over 80% of those eligible have been fully vaccinated, as the country is shifting from a pandemic towards an endemic status. Amid the improving COVID-19 condition, Minister Arlanga also emphasized that Indonesia's economic growth is on a positive trend, with 5.01% growth in the first quarter of this year. I'm pleased to inform everyone that uh, Indonesia economy doing well in the last one semester. Uh, Q4, our growth is 5%, as well as in the Q1. Uh, I think... It shows that our daily rate of COVID uh, right now is less than 300 per day, which is 300 out of 270 million people. Meanwhile, Indonesia's Minister of Investment, Bahlil Lahadalia, emphasized that Indonesia is focused on developing renewable energies, the green economy and green industries. This includes Indonesia's push to develop its electric vehicle industry, especially on the production of electric vehicles. Dan kami pingin Indonesia menjadi salah satu negara industri penghasil dari sebuah proses yang ada. Dan sekarang kita fokus untuk nikel itu untuk ekosistem baterai mobil. Dan hari ini baterai mobil perusahaan-perusahaan yang sudah masuk adalah uh, LG. Itu investasinya kurang lebih sekitar 9,8 billion US dollar. Yang kedua adalah CTL. Ini investasi tahap pertamanya 5,2 billion. Dan yang ketiga adalah Tesla. Eh sorry, sorry, Foscon, Foscon. Tesla belum ya, Tesla masih dalam proses. Foscon, Foscon itu udah me- melakukan studi sekarang, termasuk VW dan BASF. On top of showcasing the development of Indonesia's electric vehicle ecosystem, Minister Bahladalia also invited investors to invest in industrial parks in Indonesia that will be powered by renewable energies. Ini semua kita lakukan dalam rangka mendorong untuk bagaimana membangun ekosistem industri yang ramah lingkungan dan energi baru terbarukan. Bagaimana Indonesia menyiapkan itu? Sudah menyiapkan dua kawasan industri terbaik sekarang. Satunya di Batang, di Jawa Tengah. Ini industri ini dipakai memakai energi baru terbarukan dari PLN dan mendapat sertifikat. Yang kedua kita bangun di Kaltara. Ini adalah satu kawasan yang didesain akan jauh lebih akan jauh lebih baik dan besar. Dan ini cukup luar biasa sekali untuk dimanfaatkan. Nah, teman-teman, kalau mau datang, teman-teman investor, kami akan membantu secara maksimal untuk kita bisa kolaborasi. In assuming the role of G20 presidency this year, Indonesia's seriousness in clean energy transition is proof that the country is leading not only through talk, but also through example. Meanwhile, on top of its potential in the green industry at the World Economic Forum this year, Indonesia also showcased its potential in the digital economy in discussions with numerous global leading companies in the digital sector.